bestbookbits.com brings you the book summary of Mastermind Dinners, Build Lifelong Relationships by Connecting Experts, Influencers and Lynchpins by Jason Gaynard. This is a playbook designed for those who want to create and cultivate meaningful relationships. The catalyst that has brought me to the majority of my success over the past two years comes from hosting something I like to call Mastermind Dinners. These dinners have taken me from being bankrupt on virtually every level of my life to personal and professional heights, which include launching a number one rated business podcast, spending a week with the three-time best-selling author Tim Ferriss in Argentina, meeting up with skate legend Tony Hawk at his office in California to sit in on his radio show, and now running one of the world's most exclusive events for entrepreneurs. The speed by which I've turned my life around can easily be replicated, and I've created this book to show you how. The key is the way in which you create and cultivate your relationships and the concept of the mastermind dinners is your vehicle. This is the intro spoken by Jason Gaynard. Chapter one, your life has meaning because of the relationships you have, not because of money. Make an effort to keep your connections. After a long day at work, how do you feel? Need some R&R after being exhausted or beaten up? So many of us assume that receiving a paycheck will suffice to make us happy. However, the adage that money cannot purchase happiness is true. The author made 22 times more money as a young IT entrepreneur than the average American worker. But did he become 22 times happier or 22 times healthier than the ordinary person as a result of this fact? In no way, in actuality, at the age of 23, he had kidney issues brought on by stress. Yes, everyone wants a job with a good salary. But a job that brings in six figures may be distracting you from what your true priorities are. While the author's online ticket sale company was successful and brought in serious profits, the constant work and stress pulled the author further and further away from his original goal to create a business that made him happy. Many people, especially entrepreneurs, lead a lonely work life. After another 12-hour day, the last thing an entrepreneur's mind is planning a get-together with friends. Often, daily stress and work travel make it difficult to connect with people at work or even in the real world. But as any good business person knows, networking is vital in unlocking new opportunities. By conducting networking events like Mastermind Dinners and Mastermind Talks, the author built a thriving business and a fulfilling life. He realized the advantage of interpersonal interactions for himself. Chapter 2. Being authentic is important when networking. Your relationships will have more value if you are genuine about who you are. It's not about how you network, it's about who you are. It doesn't always follow that you're an excellent networker if you have a ton of social media profiles or go to networking events every night. Utilizing networking technologies lets you delve deep and discover who you truly are. Getting out there is just the beginning. Your connections will notice quite quickly if you're networking solely to advance or for any other purely selfish reason, and they'll tune you out. You must modify your attitude if you don't want to leave a bad impression. Do you believe that when one of your colleagues advances in the ranks, your prestige is diminished in networking? It doesn't function like that. The ability to celebrate their accomplishments while understanding that doing so strengthens and deepens the friendships is one of the things the author likes most about having a strong network of ambitious friends. Also, be aware that the caliber of your connections matters considerably more than the quantity. Connecting, not gathering, is the point of networking. Connecting, not gathering, is the point of networking. Do you believe that someone who has 5,000 Facebook friends has a more effective network than someone who has just 100? It might not always be the case. It's much more satisfying to have a hundred friends like, share, and comment on your postings than it is to have 5,000 people who couldn't care. How do you make sure you connect with great people? You must dedicate yourself to it. Being open and sincere about who you are and your hobbies enable you to build stronger relationships with your network. Of course, not everyone you meet will like you, and being open about your personal and professional life may result in fewer contacts. 
but you can be certain that those who do remain will join your closely knit, genuinely true network. Chapter 3. Do you wish to spend quality time with powerful people? Bring them to dinner. You put a lot of effort into growing online networks or making an effort to make friends at conferences. However, these methods of networking have nothing on the mastermind method. Masterminds are aware that there is no better setting for meeting prominent individuals than over dinner in a warm conversation field setting. Thus, extend dinner invitations to significant people if you wish to develop a strong network with them. It's one thing to attend a dinner party as a guest. However, planning the meal yourself presents a completely new level of networking opportunities. You'll have access to more powerful circles than ever before by deftly introducing folks you think will click. How do you then create your guest list? You must provide your potential guest with an allurement. Influential people get the opportunity to meet new influential people or rekindle existing relationships at mastermind meals. If you're concerned that high-level attendees won't RSVP, start by inviting those who are more likely to say yes. It will be simpler to convince your more exclusive visitors to come if you can confirm the attendance of a group of fascinating people. Keep in mind that most people want to network with others who are like themselves. Because of this, if you want to host a dinner for CEOs, but you're not one yourself, you should start by inviting one or two CEOs as bait to persuade other invited high-level executives to attend. Additionally, it is simpler to connect the very successful if other important people are already present at your dinner because they provide social promises. And if word goes out, you're more likely to reel in big fish if you steadily attract more and more interesting individuals to your evening. In conclusion, dinners are the key to effective networking. However, you can't just throw dinner at just any restaurant. Of course, you'll need a restaurant that provides outstanding food, but a successful supper requires more than just that. Just quickly before we go to chapter four, when was the last time you spent 21 days working with an elite coach on your life blueprint to map out your next one to three years on your journey to success? Right now, I'm looking at working with six people to work with me over 21 days to map out your success blueprint so you can take the next evolution in your life. Are you that person? Click the link in the description to join me for 21 days. Back with the summary. Chapter four, attend local meals to expand your network locally. With location dinners, you can attract influencers from near and far. You want to organize your mastermind dinners, but are unsure of where to begin. Here are a few pointers to assist you in choosing the event kind that will best serve your networking objectives. The kind of network you wish to create should be your priority. Once you know this, you can make a better choice on where to hold your evening. For instance, are you more interested in making specific connections than building a strong local network with a varied set of people. Local meals near your home or place of employment have their benefits. Finding ideal venues is considered simpler because you are the expert in your neighborhood. Local meals also give you the chance to create strong local networks. The roots of future, bigger and more persuasive networks can subsequently grow from this network. People who travel to certain locations for a planned event such as a conference or fair trade, are the inspiration for location dinners. A location dinner is perfect if you're trying to connect specifically with folks in certain fields. So why not host a dinner alongside an active annual IT conference if you want to meet great web designers? The advantage of a location supper is that it gives attendees you may not have much planned after the conference day is over an interesting off-site event. However, if a special networking dinner is planned, your guests will be excited about it. The ability to contact potential participants is facilitated by the list of attendees that the conference organizers occasionally provide. You, therefore, have two primary possibilities for mastermind meals, depending on your networking objectives. However, other factors play a role in success of your dinner. You will learn the details you need in our final chapter to make your mastermind meal special. Chapter 5. A mastermind cannot fail to pay attention to the details. Your invitations are your entry way, so handle them well. Paying close attention to details is essential if you want your mastermind dinner to be memorable. 
For instance, it matters how you invite people to your dinner. Email is a cheap method to communicate, but if you use it improperly, it could cost you some guest. Always customize the subject line of your emails and include the recipient's first name. This makes it simpler to deliver your invitation to the intended recipient without having to navigate a potential gatekeeper like a personal assistant. A direct pitch such as, would you be interested in a free dinner with like-minded people, should be used in emails rather than a lengthy list of specifics. A yes is far more likely in response to a query like this. You will still have an in even if your guest is unable to attend this particular event because of it. The size of your dinner is another element that matters. The ideal number of dinners is four to eight since fewer dinners make the dinner more private and give each person a chance to talk and be heard. Additionally, even though a modest guest list is desirable, avoid having an intimate supper. You run the risk of upsetting your visitors if there are only four RSVPs and several cancellations. However, when there are more than eight individuals seated at a table, it might be challenging to guide a discussion because conversations often split into multiple chats. Hosting a big group will also cost you more money because you might need to reserve a private dining area in a restaurant. It's important to keep these things in mind when planning mastermind meals. So now you have all you require for a fruitful networking event. Get out there and make some contacts. That's a wrap on this summary, Mastermind Dinners. If you want the PDF summary, click the link below to download this. We at Best Book Bits have done 1,000 book summaries in video, written, and audio format. So check us out on bestbookbits.com. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, like, share, and comment. And follow us on Spotify, Google Podcasts, and Apple Podcasts. Remember, when was the last time you spent 21 days working with an elite coach on your life blueprint to map out your one to three years on your journey to success? Click the link below to have a chat with me, and I look forward to speaking with you then. Take care. Bye-bye now.